Eight hour flight overnight. Where are we headed? Uh, somewhere, somewhere cold. Have you ever wanted to snowboard in the Swiss Alps? Well, come along with me for an 11 day trip into Switzerland where we snowboarded, ate our fill of Danishes, and learned how to snowboard overseas for roughly the same cost as a trip to Denver. We're in Zurich. Look at this um, Swiss bank mob boss over here. Um, we're trying to figure out what train to take. Well, we know which train. Well, yes. Well, we figured it out. Welcome to Zurich. We spent our first day in Switzerland navigating pretty rough jet lag and navigating the public transit system where we ended up getting to our apartment that we rented in Goshenen, Switzerland, just outside of the town of Andermatt. Good morning from Goshenen, Switzerland. We are here, um, but yesterday we landed at about 10.30 in the morning and we spent all day trying to acclimate, which was okay because we slept overnight on our flight. Um, at midnight, the jet lag got me. I woke up wide awake because that was like 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so I was up, I read a bunch of pages of my book. So we're still acclimating, but look at that. We're here. We're going to Andermatt. We'd only done minimal research, so we knew what we needed to do in order to get to the town of Andermatt, which had the ski resort. So we know we could walk through town, which this here is the beautiful town of Goshenin. You see the small town market, which is the only grocer in the town. And we made our way to the train station that we had gotten off of the night prior. So we knew exactly how to get to the train station, but look at those beautiful mountains in the distance. And now I know you're already wondering how the hell is this trip the whole way to Switzerland just as affordable as a trip to Denver? Little bit of transparency here. We did cash in our airline miles for the plane tickets, which did save us money. That being said, our tickets would have been about $700 a piece had we paid for them out of pocket. Guten Tag, Corey. Uh, 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 uh. It's gonna be me at every shop <laughs> trying to order food. <laughs> Another really helpful tip is when you get to Zurich, you can buy the Swiss half fare card. Since you'll be traveling by public transport via the train and bus, they do offer a half fare card, meaning you get 50% off of bus and train tickets for the cost of 143 US dollars for 30 days. So if you're planning on quite a long trip to Switzerland, this will definitely save you a lot of money. Okay, so we have been on what mountain? We don't know. Goshker Honer News. Don't even try. <laughs> um, we are currently taking the gondola back down to Andermatt because my binding is loose. Um, and instead of burning my quads the whole way down the mountain, as you can see, it's like right there. Um, we're taking the old people way. I mean, not the old people way. We're taking the we're taking the tired people way. <laughs> um, so far, it's absolutely stunning. I have spent more time looking at mountains than actually snowboarding. And I've gotten lost a few times because of that. But it's absolutely stunning. We're gonna make our way over to Ge Gemstop, which I don't know where that is from here. We'll figure it out. Any big plans while we're here? Eat a bunch of food. Uh, what kind of food? Mostly the breads. Oh, uh, we got some pretzels at the, um, little coop co-op i'm not sure if it's coop co-op what it's called but they have some delicious baked goods and Corey's obsessed we get ch everyone gives you a piece of chocolate everywhere you go you like order food they have a piece of chocolate and it is good chocolate so Corey ate a 20 pack ream of chocolate wafers last night before dinner 
and um, it's beautiful. It's giving me a little bit of flashback from the Sierras in April, <laughs> but stunning. Town, a little village of Andermatt, little restaurants and boutiques. We're just walking along. It's so beautiful. Day one in Switzerland. How are you feeling? It was great, man. Like, we woke up and we only oh, rode the coolest train. I do love trains. I love trains so much. I think about trains all day. All right. <laughs> Melissa, thoughts for your first day in Andermatt? Um, it was lovely. Um, we had blue skies and the sun was shining and I'm excited to check out the other half of the mountain. Ooh! So yesterday we were given this Marmot menthol muscle rub um, and I am greased up and ready to go with my Marmy lard. Sponsored by Mermeal Cracker Slobby. <laughs> <laughs> Mermeli Cracker Slob Slob. <laughs> Warmond. Uh, it's warming. I know that. That know one. Warming. warming. Okay. So today, yesterday we were on, do you guys remember which, we were on the Gauche? The Gauche. The Gauche, the Gauche. Express. The Gooch. We were on the Gooch Express. And um, the other one, the. The Tippy Top one. Schnee Schnee Hoonersnock. Schnee Hoonersnock. Today, we're Schle going up Gemstock, Gemstock, what a. Gomstock. <laughs> Our apologies. <laughs> German, not my thing. Um, trying my very best. Um, but yeah, so today is like day three in Switzerland, day two of like actually being in Switzerland. Because um, the first day we were just. We were acclimating. Acclimating and transporting and yeah. getting here. So um, super excited. We are back in Andermatt, walking over to Gemstock, which is the area we're going to be exploring this morning. Um, it's a beautiful day. You hear the birds hooting and chirping. And excited to explore a new part of the park.
How are we feeling? Amazing. Solid. 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 Cory, what's that? Coffee. Cool. With the chocolate. Always with the chocolate. Okay, so we popped the train to Dieny, where it seems to be a little more crowded. We're gonna go explore. How's everybody feeling? Have fun watching these kids eat dog shit. <laughs> Corey? <laughs> like, 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 like a little seal. <laughs> They're just laying there. You're doing it. <laughs> so how are you feeling? I'm good. I'm just tired. Is the goose cooked? Yeah, we're gonna do a few more runs and then I think we're I think we're done for the that day. That mountain is We spent most of our day in Gemstock where we saw some of the prettiest stuff I've ever seen. And then we took the train to Dielny, Deleni, um, towards um, Decentis. And um, it was more of like a beginner's friendly and we were all super tired. So we just did a few runs and came back on the train and made some dinner. And now we're having some delicious chocolate cookies and watching murder mystery before trying to go to bed <laughs> so um, so far everything's been amazing super fun and just exciting absolutely stunning some of the prettiest mountains i've ever seen in the whole world um so we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> There's that little ride up there. A little bit foggy up here today, ain't it, Corey? Gemstock was absolutely frozen and foggy, so we decided to, we're gonna come back tomorrow, hopefully with better visibility, and get some more mountains, chew on them. But so now we're walking back to the town of Andermatt to the train station so we can go to Decentis. Um, at the beginning of the week, we were offered a train pass so we can get from Andermatt the way to Decentis, which is about an hour and 40 minutes hour and 50 minutes for 50 francs um, instead of paying for it on your own. So um, if you come, it's a great option. You can get it from the info booth at the Andermatt train station. So for those of you who are interested. As you watch my B-roll of my absolute obsession with the markets in Switzerland, I loved all the options. I do want to do some clarification about the train pass that I spoke about. 
Andermatt, Sedron, and Decentis are three resorts under your Epic Pass umbrella, and you can go to all three of those resorts. That being said, they are quite a ways away from each other, and you do have to take the train to get to them. So when you first get to Andermatt, you, when you go to get your Epic Pass activated for these resorts, they will offer you a, for 50 francs okay, the so ability to travel back and forth to an all three resorts water. as much as you want, Danishes which in our opinion saved us a style. ton of money. OJ, we've got some type of meat, another type of meat. We've got delicious chocolate bar, another type of delicious braided deliciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my favorite trail of the entire trip. At the Decenta Ski Resort, go the whole way to the top, trail number 110 titled Panorama. Is it a blue? Is it somewhat easy? Absolutely. Was it so stunning that I did this trail all day long? You betcha. And let me tell you, not only was there only a small section of the mountain above the fog and clouds, which made this obviously attainable but we spent all day going down this run and i spent the entire day in awe gasping at the mountains in the background so i just got back to goshen in it's a long day we are gonna make some pancetta, cheesy tortellini, and get some warm showers, and go to bed. Good morning. We are getting a late start today, as yesterday was a long ass day. So we slept in until like usually like at least an hour later than normal. Um, but today I think we're gonna just kind of take it easy, explore just the last little bit, and make it an early day, because we're headed to Zermatt tomorrow. And we've gotta get snacks and all kinds of stuff for the train. It's like a three hour train ride from Andermatt to Zermatt. And um, so far, I think um, Switzerland has not let us down. It has also whooped, whooped our behinds a little bit. A little tired, physically. But um, we're ready to enjoy our last day. Yeah. Very steep black. <laughs> I'm just feeling very tired, and I'm realizing that like we usually take like four to six day long snow snowboarding trips, and that by day four, every time I start feeling really bad about my skills and like I just feel like I'm, I'm not confident and I'm realizing that I think three full days is my max quota for snowboarding without a break and uh, I'm not gonna feel bad about it so I left Corey and Melissa to do their own thing and I'm gonna go find a bakery and stuff my face with chocolate croissants maybe a coffee So we're going to be packing up all of our stuff, doing some laundry, 
and catching the train tomorrow to Zermatt where we will see the Matterhorn and hit some new slopes. And we will be paying out of pocket for Zermatt because it's not on the Epic Pass. I think it is on some other ski pass. So, but we didn't want to miss an opportunity when in Switzerland, do as the Swiss do, obviously. Um, so tonight we're just going to be making some dinner, packing up, and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow. We have made it to this. It is. And now we are headed to the mall. Corey's trying to figure out the Swiss vending machine. He wants that El Tony Mate. Is it good? What's it taste like? It tastes like lemon tea. It's pretty good. You can see the Matterhorn. Red is a Matterhorn. <laughs> a very easy four hour train ride. We made it to Zermatt. And it is. Christmas tree. We, we came through St. Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> and we are ready to explore the much busier, bigger town of Zermatt. So excited. So, I'm so excited. looking for another money-saving tip if you are tr planning a trip to the town of Zermatt there is a youth hostel that is located in the town that is close to the city center and you can stay there even if you are not a youth we saw families with children young people from all over the world and it was far more affordable than renting or staying at a lodge or hotel in the area going on a romantic dinner date what are we getting uh, gnocchi. Talk louder. Gnocchi. <laughs> Corey's been talking about gnocchi, and since we're like just a minute away from Italy, we're going to find some gnocchi. Gnocchi? Gnocchi. Whatever. <laughs> gnocchi. Gnocchi. <sighs> Delicious. And I had ravioli carbonara with a raw egg yolk. It was so good. Now we're, um, what are we doing? Uh, probably grab a drink and decide how awake we're gonna stay before we go to bed. And then tomorrow, snowboard. snowboard. How do you feel? <clears throat> Andermatt and Zermatt compare. Um, I uh, prefer the uh, Andermatt vibes of there's 10 people on the street compared to a million tourists. This is like the Las Vegas of Switzerland. The Las Vegas of As Switzerland. As you can see by the hat she's wearing. My hat? My hat was from a flea market. You could have a few hoes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Zermatt is like very busy, very bougie. Andermatt was like very chill, kind of like outdoorsy. Saw lots of people um, cross country skiing. Here, people are wearing mink jackets and they're wearing brand name jewelry and watches. Um, so, you know, Corey's got his brand name enlightened equipment jacket on, which, you know, is of high quality, the highest caliber, and his seal skin cap that he got as a gift for, for Christmas from my, my mom. Crazy my hat is Flea Market, my jacket is TJ Maxx, my shirt is TJ Maxx, my leggings are Amazon, so you know 
we're the bougiest of them all. Good morning, Mr. Matterhorn. We have made it to the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise. Um, it, it, we saw glaciers and the whole time we were just in awe of the big ice. Oh, look at all the love locks. Oops. Corey. We forgot <laughs> to bring a lock. Wait, I love this one. Zermatt is a smidge busy today. I paid two dollars to poop at the top of the mountain. And uh, so far it looks really pretty and great and beautiful. Very busy, lots of people. Lots of skiers. Don't know where we are. So we skied into Italy where Corey decided to make an honest woman of me um, since we've been living out of wedlock together amongst the sin. And then we came over here and I got yelled at for taking a piece of bread. You're like Jean Valjean. Um, because I wanted a piece of bread and the guy thought I was trying to steal it. And um, so now, now Italy hates me, but we're going, <laughs> we're going to explore Italia. You can see the town of Zermatt. All right, so the Italian side was super icy. It actually is super icy here as well. So we're just making our way back down into Zermatt. It's about 2.30. Um, yeah, it's like there's nice powder on top, but then beneath the powder is just all ice. And so, um, and then with the altitude, I'm feeling just the effects of all of that. So taking an easy day, just doing a few runs, but it's absolutely stunning. We're headed to get some fondue for our last night in Zermatt. Um, today was very exhausting. Lots of ice on the mountain. Apparently those were pretty good conditions. So for us spoiled people who had been in Andermatt and getting really good conditions, it was a bit rough. Lots of gondolas at Zermatt, lots of gondolas. Um, but yes, we're headed to get some fondue. <laughs> we're gonna fondue it. Mommy's Mama's home. Mama's home. He's winning. It's a lot of cheese. We've got our fondue pot, our veggies, and our goodies. What do you think? Cheesy? Is it easy being cheesy? Reviews on fondue. I'm a bean. A bean. Pon, don't eat as much as I did. <laughs> we ate the entire pot of <laughs> cheese oh, because we thought we had to commit to it. And now we are having to walk through the drunkards, the Sunday night party pe people. And headed back to our right. Take it right. Take it right. so we can go to bed.
right, we're headed back up to Zermatt for one more day of pain and torture on the icy slopes. We just checked out of the Zermatt Youth Hostel, so if you are looking for a relatively affordable place to stay that isn't like $700 a day, then we recommend that. Um, Switzerland has a whole bunch of youth hostels that are all in network. So the bus came. My apologies for cutting it short. Uh, what I was saying was that we were staying at the Zermatt Youth Hostel and had nothing but great experiences with the staff. The accommodations are fairly well priced, free breakfast included, um, affordable dinner included, um, super nice folks, um, close to everything in town. Bus runs the whole way through Zermatt, so that way you don't have to walk uphill. Um, everything is on a hill, it's in a valley, obviously. Um, so there's a free bus in town, just public transit super easy to get to. Um, so now we're headed up to the Garnergrat, which is some big attraction at the top of the mountain. So we're headed up there, waiting for the train, and our Zermatt weekend passes get us free passage on the train. So something to think about as well. Pretty cool. Zurich after a three-hour train ride where every human on the train either stepped on our bags, pushed us, or rolled their eyes at us for daring to try to bring our snowboarding gear on a train we paid $200 to ride. Um, come to find out, I'm not sure, let me know if you know this, but I think Swiss public courtesies are not like, oh my gosh, excuse me, or oh my gosh, like, oh, excuse me, sorry. It's just like, like push. it's just like they just push into you. And I think it's just because public transport is so like busy and bustling that they've just like lost the nuances. Here's our little tiny, like one square bedroom, one square foot apartment um, in Zurich. We're right by the river, just a short walk from the train station. Ooh, I'm going to bed. I ate a croissant and I hurt my tummy. A, a croissant? And now I need some water and a, a, and a nap. Yep, eat, drink more water, bitch. As okay. I drink my champagne. But, and that will pretty much sum up. We're going to have a little sightseeing day tomorrow. And then we leave at lunchtime on Wednesday. Today's Monday. So, we did it! Zurich is adorable. It's like just this little cobblestoned street, little maze. We're on our way to get some Wiener Schnitzel, which is the only thing I want while we're here. Over, over yonder is the Opera House. La Opera. You can see the mountains in the distance. I am tomorrow. Go home tomorrow. Uh, in the morning, in the evening. Uh, morning. Oh, well, then,
but you have still a full day still. And if did you buy a street? And the lovely woman you see in this video with us is an elderly woman who offered us a free walking tour next to the lake. It was so amazing. She showed us all the things we needed to see within walking distance and we thoroughly enjoyed her company. So on our little day off here in Zurich, we managed to get some amazing Wiener Schnitzel at an olive an authentic Austrian restaurant. And then we made our way to the North American succulent exhibit um, because most people in Switzerland have never seen cactuses. But you know, we have. We've seen plenty of cacti and love them dearly. But it's fun getting to see them here. This is the African exhibit like hello this is interesting hello so is that yeah Corey tell us a little bit about this exhibit so there's like some stuff that like it hurts if you touch it but some of them look like they might taste good but they would probably hurt if you try to eat them but and how can... how long's the exhibit been open for 90 90 90 90 what minutes <laughs> years 90 years this exhibit opened in 1930 ish One. 31 those look like green beans edward palmer traveled to mexico because or while we're walking tell us about the history edward palmer palmer, palmer traveled to mexico because it was new botanical territory Jesus. and cut up a bunch of cactuses and brought them back to look at i guess so thank I you read, i read two sentences thank you What'd you get? Cappy. Don't give me no change. Cappy. I think it's exact only bit. Apple what though? Apple drink? Apple juice? Apple soda? Is it apple soda? Can't tell if it's, you like it or not. I do enjoy it, but I was not expecting it. <clears throat> it's really lovely. I fucks with that. <laughs> oh my god, is that good? I'm not exactly sure what kind of plant this is. It has these very interesting spiky parts and bits to it. Let me know if you know what this plant is. Okay, wave. Say bye. Say bye. Wave. No, he'll wait for wait for wait for the camera. Can you wave? Okay. And after a week and a half away, we took our nine and a half hour flight home, back to North Carolina, back to our cats, and back to our life. Thank you so much for following along. We hope you enjoyed this vlog.